why. Following up on the last time we were together about why go to Mass on Sunday, following up, why participate in Mass when it seems boring? Why go to Mass if it's boring? Well, I hate to hear that phrase, but nevertheless, I do understand that sometimes Mass can be less than engaging. And I think a lot of it has to do not so much with what's happening inside the church. However, poor music, people that are distracted, none of that contributes to a good engagement, a good participation. But if we pay attention to what the church asks of us as we attend Holy Mass, as we participate Holy Mass, or as we celebrate in the priest case Holy Mass, things could change. The first thing the church asks of us is that when we go to Holy Mass, when we participate in the liturgy, the, the celebration of the divine mysteries, so to speak, that we do it consciously. Secondly, actively. And thirdly, in a fruitful way. Conscious, active, and fruitful participation. And if we're aware of those things, I promise you it will change your experience of Holy Mass. The first thing is conscious, meaning that we, we understand something about what the Mass is before we come that we really understand that the structure of the Mass, we understand what the Mass is. Last Sunday, why, last time we were together, why go to Mass on Sunday? We're participating in the very life of God himself. We're in the presence of the Eucharist, God's own, Jesus Christ's body and blood. We're called in community together. So we consciously understand what the Mass is and what it is not. It's not, part, it's not entertainment. It's not some social gathering, but it's the life of God himself that we're called into the midst of. So, conscious participation. We know what we're getting into. We understand the structure of the Mass, no matter where we are in the whole world, no matter what language, the Mass is the Mass. It's the sacrifice of Calvary made present in an unbloody way right here and right now, wherever we are. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ comes to us, and there are certain things that are part of that structure gathering together, hearing the Word of God, the Holy Eucharist, the sending, so on and so forth, conscious. Active doesn't mean that everybody's all busy the whole time, doing a hundred things at one time, but active means that I'm mindfully aware of what's taking place, that I'm engaging my innermost being, I'm engaging my heart, my soul, and my body. So that means there are certain times that, that I'm standing, there are certain times that I am listening, there are certain times that I am reflecting, there are certain times that I'm going forward to receive with my, with my mouth the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, that I'm actually doing something in a mindful, active way, and not just passively sitting down waiting for someone to do it for me. When we sing, we sing together. When we pray, we pray together. I'm not asking someone to do it for me, but I am actively participating in this. And understanding that when I am consciously and when I'm actively participating, that something is going to happen because that's the promise of the Lord. The Lord promises to come to me. The Lord promises to fill up in me what is lacking. The Lord promises so many beautiful things which take place in the liturgy, in the Holy Mass. So that's the fruitful participation. I'm expecting something to take place because something does take place. And then that something that takes place changes me. And so that the next time that I participate in the Holy Mass, my participation is different. I'm different because I've encountered the Lord. So let us participate consciously, actively, and fruitfully so that our experience of Holy Mass is something engaging, dynamic, and life-changing.